Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's video is in nebulizers. We are taking the drugs in the form of a gas. Gas. Yes. Okay. And uh, nowadays all the nebulizers, what you see here, it looks very tempting to purchase. Even though there is necessary or not, that is another part. We will feel tempted to purchase immediately. That much of very smart, robust, okay, small, uh, comfortable, compactable. Okay. Right. So what are the topics I covered here uh, is uh, as per your syllabus, that is an uh, introduction. Mass, median, aerodynamics, very, very, very important one. Definitely you have to be right in the examination under the concept of nebulizer. Types of nebulizers and uh, working principles, ideal properties of the nebulizer, indications and contraindications of the nebulizers. Nebulizers are not suitable for all types of patients. It is suitable only for certain types of patients only. You should not supposed to be prescribed for each and every patient, okay? And uh, old nebulizers versus new nebulizers. Yeah, let us start. This is your uh, syllabus. Here you can see the highlighted point uh, uh, nebulizers. Yeah. Nebulizers, administrating of the drug in the form of a gas, that is inhalation through the nose, mouth, or both. Nose and mouth, or nose, or mouth, Okay, whatever it means. Nebulizer is a device, keep in your mind, nebulizer is a device that converts the liquid medication into the aerosol droplets. It's a fine mist you will get, suitable for the inhalation. This fine mist is suitable for the inhalation. So nebulizer is a converts the liquid dosage form into gaseous dosage form, like that you can remember. Ga liquid converted into gas. Nebulizer uses the oxygen, Compressed air, not the air. This air is having a less uh, pressure, but compressed air is having a high pressure. Compressed air is compressed. Okay. Ultrasonic power. We are uh, ultrasonic uh, to break up the medication into the solution, uh, to break up the medication solution and uh, deliver into the lungs. So this ultrasonic power compressed air, oxygen are mainly responsible to break up the medicated solution, liquid dosage form into the inhalation, that is a gas. Yeah, this is my app, uh, that is mobile app. Mobile app, uh, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. So see the pointer here, after opening the app, go to the store option. Here you can see all my presentations in the form of PDF, it is nothing but a notes. You can be right as it is in the examination. You will get more than a distinction in your regular examination. So all B form C, M form C, B form C, all courses are available. Okay, that you can. And this is about my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option. See the pointer here, playlist option. There I have arranged all in the subject wise. And each subject, if you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise you will get. Yeah, this is only I told very, very important. Mass, median, aero, dynamic diameter, MMAD, it is also called as a deposition of the particles. See, these are all these are the particle size, aerosol particle size. See, aerosol, whatever you are inhaling, that consists of a drug, that consists of a drug, okay? That drug molecule size, this is drug particle size. So if it is a less than one micrometer, it reaches, but that means very small, it reaches up to the alveoli, up to the, that is the last edge part. See here, alveoli size is 0 0.1 to 1 micrometer. So less than 1 micrometer. Okay, like that you have to read this practice. 1 to 2 micrometer, branchiole. See here, this is the branchiole. This is the alveoli. And the branchus, somewhat bigger branchus. 2 to 3 micrometer branchus and trachea 3 to 5. So if your particle size is less than my uh, or equal to 1 micrometer, it reaches up to the alveolar. Like that your inhalation, uh, that is nebulizer has to prepare the inhalation. Okay, this is the ideal. So the drug will reaches up to that. And if your drug particle is greater than, greater than or equal to 5 micrometer, it will be there in the nasal cavity, oropharynx only. It will not be entered throughout the, up to the depth of the lung. So see, this is a this is a converter. So inhalation, these particle sizes are very, very, very important. Mass, median, aerodynamics. 
types of nebulizers are uh, three types mainly type 1 type 2 type 3 three main types of electrical nebulizers are currently we found all are electrical only today now uh, type 1 is, is a jet nebulizer also called as a air jet you can see here air jet nebulizer also called as a compressor nebulizer you can see the name here by the apollo pharmacy is introduced this compressor nebulizer very widely used atomizer also called as atomizer all these are the synonyms in the examination you, you don't get confusion all names are same only and why second one is vibrating mesh nebulizer see here mesh nebulizer see the names easy to remember that's why i'm adding the diagrams vibrating mesh nebulizer neo mesh okay and type 3 ultrasonic wave nebulizer also called as aerosonic sonic sonic matched ultrasonic aerosonic see here ultrasonic nebulizer this is only my thumbnail okay thumbnail my starting slide yeah first one is a jet nebulizers see here jet nebulizers uh, these are the synonyms it is a old pattern jet nebulizers are widely used in the hospital whereas a new pattern nebulizers are widely used by the patients at the home okay uh, highly useful for those who needs a daily requirements like asthma patients copd patients and it is advantages low operating cost very cheap very operating cost not the instrument cost operating cost is very cheap suitable for the patients who are unable to take the inhalation some patients they will feel very difficult to take a breath in such a cases they will not uh, inhale mdi meter to dose inhaler but however this type of air jet it goes jet jet like that so very easy it aids the inhalation disadvantage is somewhat bigger size uh, more weight high noise uh, delivery may take 5 to 10 minutes longer it's uh, longer and working principle very important okay working principle see here very simple here there was a compressed gas source we are that's why we are calling as a air jet we are using a compressed air compressed oxygen we are using here we are pumping through the small orifice at a high velocity and see here there was a cup in this cup there was a liquid liquid in a reservoir like this here the both are same uh, only liquid reservoir is there here we are keeping a drug solution here in the reservoir in the cup see here here you can see the drug solution so compressed air compulsory it is passing it is diverting with the help of a bottle it is diverting towards a liquid with the high speed high velocity air is passing through the liquid immediately there is a formation of this uh, fine mist small small aerosol because you just imagine you are pumping a fast speed air through the liquid immediately there is a formation of the uh, that is only the mechanism here uh, and uh, due to the high force liquid medication turns into the aerosol baffel or orifice what you are using here it is very helpful to divert the direction of this compressed air as well as it facilitates the formation of the aerosol cloud here you can see the baffel baffel okay reservoir reservoir okay uh, drug solution here a drug solution you are keeping here in the reservoir here you are pumping the uh, air air compressed gas air okay right and second one is a vibrating mesh nebulizer name itself indicate mesh will be there vibration will be there mesh is important here membrane also called as a membrane or you can call also it as a mesh this mesh or membrane consists of a small holes that's why we are calling as a mesh mesh consists of small holes and it is a very thin that's why we are calling as a membrane it is a membrane as well as a mesh okay having a 1000 to 7000 laser drilled holes small 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 holes like this here mesh assembly you can see this is a vibrating mesh having a small holes small small hole. you cannot see with your naked eye and here what happened a liquid medicine you are keeping here this is a vibrating mesh this is the structure so this liquid measure is passing through the small holes vibrating at a high speed high speed it leads to generation of a 
fine mist, fine droplets. Okay, that is the principle. Here you can see vibrating mesh nebulizer working principle like the pro mesh nebulizer, and these are all the advantages. High nebulization capacity and uh, uh, zero, uh, greater than 0 0.25 ml per minute, very short duration of action. That's why it is a faster, processing is faster, significantly decreasing the treatment time. See here, treatment time is decreased. Decreased amount of the drug liquid waste also very small. Wastage is very less. Avoids the unnecessarily heating of a liquid. Okay, more expensive this is. That is a decent. And ultrasonic, see here, name itself, India. what I showed in thumbnail is a ultrasonic ultra model. Synonym is, is also called as aerosonic nebulizer. It is advantage is potential nebulization gives the extra small less than zero point, less than one micrometer diameter. It, so the drug particle reaches up to the depth. See here, very depth. That's why this is ultrasonic, ultra model, very potent, very potential. It is a fast, discreet, less noise, comfortable at home. During traveling also, you can be use it. Disadvantages is it transfers the heat. So not much suitable for thermosensitive drugs. This is the principle of that electronic oscillator we are using. Here you can see here um, diagram, generation of the ultrasonic waves. Ultrasonic waves will be generated with the help of ultrasonic generator. See here, this is ultrasonic generator. Here you can see ultrasonic waves. That waves we are passing through the water, water. And this we are passing through the medical cup. Medical cup consists of a drug solution. And here medicated fine mist will become and it goes to the patient in the form of a fine mist. That is a principle you have to draw. And the ideal properties are there. It must generate the small aerosol droplet. These are ideal properties of all any nebulizer. Then, okay. And residual volume should be less than 0 0.5. Very, very important. Okay. Small aerosol droplet, it must generate less than one micrometer so that it is suitable for pulmonary deposition into the alveoli. This is ideal properties, just like ideal student, ideal film hero, ideal film hero, and like that. It is an ideal nebulizer. Aerosol delivered only during the inhalation. Uh, whenever you are inhaling, then only the it has to be goes so like that. You have to devise. Whenever patient is not taking breath, uh, there should not be generation of the uh, drug gas inside. Small, it must be small. It must be portable. It must be uh, you know abrasive. Rapid treatment time, very small rapid treatment time. Patient compliance and see indicators uh, only in these asthma drugs like uh, antibiotics, so antifungal drugs also we can be used for the patients like a uh, patients suffering with a cystic fibrosis. It is a lung disease. Fibrous will be deposited in the lung. Some small infections will be there. In such a case, this is the ideal asthma patients. Ideal cystic fibrosis. Ideal uh, and it helps the expectoration to remove the sputum from your lungs. Like that also, inhalation of hypertonic saline, you have to inhale with the help of nebulizer. So that sputum will, and analysis here, pain in the lungs, alveolar cancer, alveolar carcinoma, alveoli, alveolar, okay? Contraindication, it should not be useful for the unstable, those patients having unstable BP or high BP, they may feel anxiety by, by seeing this during the inhalation. Patients with uh, Cardiac irritability, see here word irritability because it causes a dysarthmia. Don't take that, don't give to those patients. Patients with increased pulse rate, don't give it. Don't give to unconscious patients or unconscious. Okay, like that. And this is an old one, very large and bulky. And now is a smart and very suitable, tempting to purchase, very smaller in size. It's a large tubing, meters, meters tubing here, minimal tubing. Large face mask here, no face mask, you can be reduced as per your, and this is a nice, this is silent, it runs only on electric power, nowadays this runs on the battery also, okay, no auto cutoff here, auto cutoff also come, okay, so I will end my session here, these points are more than enough, enough for your regular examination, okay, enjoy the reading of the pharmacy.